Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Midday with Lejean and Valora. We are excited to be with you guys on this beautiful Monday morning, the first day of the month. So thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for joining in with us on today. Blessings, blessings to you. Um, God is so, so faithful and he's made this day for us and he's given us many blessings. And when we awakened this morning, there were new sets of mercies awaiting upon us. And so we, again, are excited about what God is doing and, um, what he has in store for us. And so we're believing God for a sudden connections on today. God is a connector. He's connecting his people. He's bringing people together. Um, and so even on last week, my husband was saying about un, um, unexpected um, connections, unexpected resources. And so God is, is connecting his people. Yes. Blessings to you as well. And, um, so this is the time for, for unexpected uh, connections, and uh, God is going to do that suddenly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So just a couple of announcements. This, uh, this coming Saturday, August the 6th, we will be gathering for our Fearless Women uh, Global event. And so it's just going to be a fellowship, but women are coming from different places to fellowship, to connect, to be inspired, be encouraged and uh, just learn more about God and each other. So really excited about that. And that's gonna be at our Tampa location at our Contagious Church. And uh, you can go to our website for more information about that. And so um, also the next Suddenly Conference will be in Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. So we're really, really excited about that. Apostle John Eckhart, um, Apostle Andrew Tao, Prophet Kyle Miller will be with us as well as long um, as well as um, some of our team, our psalmists, our um, minstrels would be there. Some of our staff will be coming in with us. And so we're expecting people from different places. So if you're close to uh, Little Rock, um, four or five hours away, you can drive, fly, whatever you need to do, get there. It's going to be amazing. Our first time ministering in Little Rock. And so it's going to be um, really, really anticipated um, just about a year or so in the making. And so we're excited to be coming and to be with y'all. So you can learn more about that and get more information on our website um, as well. And then October the 20th, uh, October the 20th, 4th through the 26th, we'll be having our uh, Spiritual Warfare um, Academy, and uh, so more information on our website as well. So we're excited about today's word, about what God wants to release to us, and um, um, on, at noonday, uh, our church has been doing um, just a little uh, a lunch snack, and so you can certainly join um, our staff and our team as um, on that as well, Contagious uh, Church Facebook page. Um, and so really, really, uh, really, really amazing. So um, today we're excited again about um, God suddenly connecting us with people that he's already ordained for us that perhaps has the other part uh, of the vision that God has given unto you. And so we're excited about the word today. Yes, I was, you know, let me tell you this. If you've not looked at that message from... Uh, Meredith Rucker, who is, uh, of course, she's one of our media, she's she's not one of them, she's one of the people that actually designs our graphics, um, but she is she is phenomenal, she, um, but she's more than a graphic designer, she is a real profound and really prof prolific teacher of the gospel, really blessed me this morning because one of the things I think as a leader is that you can you can see, <clears throat> if when you can see yourself duplicated in the people that are teaching you, uh, or that you're teaching, that's that's the stuff that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, one of the things I called I called her after her broadcast, and I told her I said, you know, for about three or four years now, you've really been faithful, you've been committed, you have not, uh, you, you know, you have not been a problem, you've not been a complainer. Uh, you just come in, you do the work, you get the work done, uh, you've grown in maturity, and I've watched her. And so as I watched her broadcast, I listened to her, and tears began to really well up in my eyes because I watched how she gave correlation 
transition uh, between uh, one scripture and the next scripture and really implementing uh, the uh, what we talk about, we, you know, we call it inductive Bible study principles of really, really being able to inductively study the Bible and not from somebody else's perspective, but really getting into it herself. And that's what makes me proud is when I can see people uh, who now have the tools and are equipped to really, really study the Bible. So that makes a difference. And really, it even spins into what we're talking about today. Today is day, uh, the first day of October, and it's the day, uh, what is this? This is day 11, uh, nope, day 12. Uh, divine, suddenly divine connections will come. And uh, we're going uh, pretty much 30 days of suddenly from our book, Sudden Breakthrough. And, uh, and so, the, you know, as I begin to think about that, I also, I, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some principles of people that I feel like you're going to connect with in this season. Uh, I think, I really feel like this is a new season for you. It's a new time. Uh, it's a, it's a new place that you've probably not been into before. And so I'm going to, I'm going to look here in just a few minutes if I can pull it up because I put it on one of my documents. And you know, sometimes it doesn't come up on the other document, but, uh, but, but one of the, some of the things that I said that you were going to get is in this season, you're going to connect with people who are really, really committed to your success. In some past seasons, you connected with people, but uh, most of us can look back and see uh, seasons where we connected with people who we're not connected with in this season. But in this season, you're gonna connect with people who are really committed to your success. Yes. Now, it's something that you're gonna need for that. One of the things you're gonna need, you need to be writing notes with this. One of the things that you need to write down as a note is that uh, in this season, God is gonna give you the wisdom and the discernment to know the difference between people who are looking for opportunities in relationship with you and people who are really assigned to you. Sometimes we've, we've in the past, we've given a lot of our attention, our focus to people that we that we met and we connected with who were not assigned to uh, to us for a long-term purpose. Don't, don't get me wrong. You know, there's a thing that says some people come for a reason, some come for a season, uh, and some for the rest of our lives. But I really believe that God is sending God assignments and God connections in this season for your life that are literally going to catapult you into your next place of destiny. Amen? I remember a day uh, I was, and sometimes, you know, there is a scripture also that says uh, that, that many of you have entertained, be careful how you entertain strangers because some of you have entertained angels unaware. And so sometimes God is sending people into your presence and some of them, they won't be there for a long time, uh, you know, a long period of time, but they're there for an impact, they're in, there for an impartation, they're there to release some things to you, they're there to catapult you to a next level, to a next location, to a next place. And I really believe, again, uh, that you can even you can even say, you can tell a lot about a person by the people that uh, for instance who they're who they're being discipled by who they're discipling who they marry uh, the the team that they have surrounding them all of these are factors that can really make a difference as it pertains uh, to how how much success you really have in life you find if you find me somebody that's not being uh, mentored by somebody you find me somebody who is not mentoring somebody else I'm going to show you a person who's probably not going to go potentially as far as they could. Doesn't mean they're not going to be successful, but everybody needs that one person who can become a kingdom catalyst for for um, for catapulting you into your next place of destiny. Right. Amen. Everybody needs people uh, who who they can. And, and let me say this: I'm inspired. Me personally, just talking about me personally. I'm going to get into some scripture in just a moment, and we're going to pray in a few minutes. But I am inspired just as much by the person that that leads me as I am by the people that I lead. Oftentimes, I look to my leader, and they inspire me, and they give me wisdom, and they give me, um, or say he gives me, uh, you know, structure and wisdom and ideas and creativity. And so I'm inspired by my leader, but then I'm also inspired by those people who, uh, who, who, who I lead because God has given them to us as, as a means of being able to connect, to help build them, to help strengthen them, but also so that they can strengthen us because there are times I was inspired by Meredith this morning. I was inspired uh, by her message. I was inspired by her, her research. I was inspired by the message that God gave her. And so I am, I am in this season, I I have learned that that one connection, you know, although we want multiple connections with people, but that just one connection can literally give you the spark that you need or give you the connection you need or give you the open door that you need or, or whatever else. You, and so that's going to be something we're going to pray about in just a few minutes. 
Uh, but, I, but, but And then let, let me tell you another thing, even with that thought, is that even the spouse that you choose has a great uh, determination on whether you succeed or whether you don't succeed or whether you stay stagnant in, in things as far as life is concerned. I have learned, let me tell you something, the hard way that the person who sits beside you, stands beside you, uh, you've got to select them wisely because if you do not select them wisely, you will find yourself in a tough position. Amen? In a minute, I want to hear what my wife's got to say, but I'm gonna, I want to I want to pray for you to have uh, those Cornelius connections, to have one connection, one relationship with that will literally open the door for your next season, for your next season of success, for your next season of purpose. Because I really believe that there, there is that there is that one person that's literally getting ready to open the door for you. I see it happening for many of you that that, that you're going to meet one person, you're going to have one connection, and this person is going to say, you know what? Uh, I really believe my steps have been ordered to you, and I have the the resources that I want to connect you with that are literally going to take you to your next level. I, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you've literally been saying, God, I've got the infrastructure. God, I've got the plan. You've given me the vision. You've given me an understanding. God, you, 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 you know, you've, you've, you've given me a blueprint for what I'm supposed to do. Now, God, hook me up. Connect me with the person. Listen, you could be like Joseph. Let me tell you something. You could be like Joseph uh, as he was with the baker and the butler. You, you need a butler who's getting ready to open the door, a usher that's getting ready to open the door. Come on. You need to meet that one person. Uh, let me tell you something. Even though Joseph was in a prison situation, think about it. He was in a prison situation. He met one person who literally ushered him in, opened the door for his next season and his next place of destiny. Go ahead. You know, that is that is so key. And one of the things that you said, be careful how you entertain strangers where you may entertain them, un entertain angels unawares. And so it is so very important um, that you really hone in on what God is doing and really guard and protect the relationship that God has brought into your life. Because when God wants to send, some, you know, to bless you, God will certainly um, send someone. But whenever the enemy wants to distract you, he will try to infiltrate that, that kingdom of assignment, that kingdom relationship so that it does not mature. It does not, you, you're not able to receive that which God has already ordained for you to receive. And so we have to be, we have to really be mindful and really be guarded, really protect what God gives to us and what he sends to us. And so this is such a strategic time and the very thing that you've been praying for, the thing that you've been believing God for, even as my husband said, God, I have all this, that, and the other, but, I, but I'm missing certain pieces. I'm missing um, certain resources resources and uh, certain information. And so someone else that God has already assigned has the thing that you need. They, they have the information, they have the resources, they have the infrastructure. And so um, God is a God that, that you know, he, he really does collaborate. He's a God of collaboration. He wants us to come together and he's sending people, he's sending uh, uh, people to us to really come together so that we can work together, we can build together, we can grow together, and we can see the full Full manifestation of what God has called us to do. There's there's certain things that I can do by myself, but there's more that we can do exponentially when we begin to come together through a God assignment, having the same heart, having the same focus, and be willing to work together. It is it is work, and so that, you know that's one of the things that many times I think we may forget that it does take work. It does cause us to press. It does cause us to really work at it together um, so that we can see again the fullness of what God has in store for us because whenever God gives us a vision it's always more than us it's always bigger than us and so as we write the vision as we make the vision plain those that read the vision will run with the vision amen they will they will look at it and they will say wow this is my part this is what I've been assigned to do this is my passion and so as they look at your vision they will become passionate about it and they will run with it. Listen, somebody's getting ready to meet. There's two people you're getting ready to meet, and I want to I want to read these two scriptures to you. Uh, I'm looking at 2 Kings chapter 5. Uh, uh, chapter 5, it said, Naaman, now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife, and she said unto her mistress, "Would God, my lord, uh, would God, my lord, were the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of leprosy." 
And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And so when I begin to look at the, the context of the thought, is that uh, the girl, the, you know, the little, the little Hebrew girl who now ushers her, uh, is ushered into the, the palace has, uh, has a, a key, has a one word, one, one piece of information that literally unlocks something because the Bible said that Naaman was a good man. He was an honorable man. Uh, you know, he had been doing uh, basically everything that was right, but he was a leper. So he had one issue, one problem that he needed solved in his life. And literally one person who, ha who had, listen, she, she became a messenger. She became an angelos, an, an angelos. Uh, a, a messenger of God for him. And so she then gives this answer, gives this solution, and he literally goes into another place and literally it, the, the key to his whole problem was unlocked. And listen, you're getting ready to meet somebody. You're getting ready to meet somebody. Today we're talking about, for those that just joined, thank you for sharing, for those that are sharing, uh, but today we're going to declare that you're going to meet that one person. You're going to meet, you're going to have one person who has the key to your desk. Now listen now, it's going to take you humility though because sometimes God will send you somebody who may not even be on your level who may not even have the qualification this girl was a slave girl this girl had been brought out of a whole nother land and so now Naaman uh, you know he goes and then the prophet gives him in some instruction listen you're getting ready to meet somebody who has the solution in their mouth and so the prophet says uh, to him go and wash in the Jordan now it took humility because the first time he said man are not these other rivers better than the river Jordan he said <laughs> Listen, and then he comes back and he, and he thinks about it. He said, listen, he, you know, he had to come to himself. He said, listen, either I'm going I'm to obey this, this rule or I'm going to find myself in a situation where I, where I deal with this leprosy the rest of my life. Listen, somebody's getting ready to be healed. Somebody's getting ready to be delivered. Somebody's getting ready to be set free. God is getting ready to bring you the one person who literally has the key. You've been wondering. You've been like, God, what is it? What do I need to do? What, what wisdom do I need, God? What instructions do I need? Uh, what's the solution, God? Who is the person who has the key and holds the key to my next level, to the next place of my destiny? But I'm telling you that those of you that are watching today, my prophetic word to you is that you are getting ready to move into that place where you're going to receive the one key. You're going to see the one piece of instruction, the one thing that you need that literally unlocks. And let me tell you something. In most of your cases, it's going to be mutually beneficial. You're going to come into one relationship, one friendship. I was just on the phone the other day and I was even talking to God. God, and I'm marveling at some of the key relationships and friendships that God is, is bringing us into in this season. And one of the things I was teaching in class last uh, last. Uh, Wednesday night for Bible study and I was talking about how you need to begin to assess your relationships and assess and, and, and ask God which one of these relationships is the relationship that holds the key to my next level. So then and then to remind me not to forget to talk to you about fighting for those relationships uh, and warring for those relationships and not getting out of place in those relationships. Are you listening? So then I look over, I go from Naaman's situation, because this is a biblical precedent. Uh, you know, there's sometimes we see something, we'll pick out one thought and it's just in one place, but no. You gotta find you gotta find biblical precedent where there's a there's a consistent theme that goes through scripture. Are you yes. listening to me? And so here in Genesis chapter uh, number 41. We're going to see, and I'm, I love verse number 14, well, now I wonder, but chapter 41, it, it shares, uh, matter of fact, in verse 9, it says, Then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my thoughts this day. Pharaoh was wroth with his servants and put me in the ward in the captain of the guard's house, both me and the chief but, uh, baker. And we dreamed a dream in one night, I and he, and we dreamed each man according to the in, in, interpretation of his dream. And there was there a young man, a Hebrew servant to the captain of the guard, and we told him and he interpreted to us our dreams to each man according to his dream did he interpret. And it came to pass as he interpreted us, so it was me he restored unto my office and he, uh, he hanged. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Listen, you're getting ready to listen, you're getting ready to be elevated, you're getting ready to be promoted, your gift is getting ready to make room for you. You're gonna have one kingdom connection. Listen, Joseph met two men. One of them he prophesied and he told him the truth, and he was he was hanged. The other man he prophesied to him and told him, You're gonna be restored. And when he prophesied he was gonna be restored, listen, it was two years later. He 
he, he forgot about it. He said, but one day God will cause uh, the book of remembrance in heaven to be opened with, at the place where your name was yes. written. Now you're listening to me. And so so you you may think that the kindness and the good deed that you showed towards somebody uh, many years ago has been forgotten. But I'm telling you, God is not unfaithful to forget your labor of love and how you have ministered to his yes. people and you're still ministering. Are you listening to me? I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. I don't know who we're talking to today. But I'm telling you that you, God, is getting ready to cause you to have one connection, one person who is literally getting ready to change your entire circumference of your life. You, One of the Jesus. ideas, one of the dreams, one of the visions, one of the things you've been believing God for, God is literally getting ready to meet some, cause you to meet somebody. And, and it's, listen, in your mindset, it's going to be by chance. But you got to know that God already uh, prerequisitely ordered. He already had ordered your steps. He had already put in his request for it. Are you listening to me? And I'm telling you, no matter, no matter where you are, no matter what your situation, no matter what your circumstance, the God that we serve is able to cause you to have this one, one kingdom connection. Again, for those who just came on, we're in, on day 12. Uh, this is the first day of October of 2018. For those of you who are watching this later, and I really believe that this, this is the word right now, that one kingdom connection, God is giving you discernment in, in order to know that the, this is your appointed time. Come on, this is your appointed time for sudden breakthrough and for certain sudden divine connections and for sudden relationships that are literally going to catapult you into your next place of destiny. You know, absolutely. I really believe it's a, it's a time, even as you said, even a sudden alignment, that things are coming into alignment, that things is, you know, there'll be pieces here and pieces there, but God is bringing things into alignment. He's ordering your steps because you are the righteousness of God. God is ordering your steps to the place that he's already ordained for you to walk in, for the people that he's already ordained for you to connect with. And so this is such a strategic time. And so really, really stay focused on what God is saying. Stay focused on where he's sending you. And when God says move, you got to move. When God says go, you got to go. When he says, you know, go to this place or that place, you've got to be obedient to go because God has something there for you. And everything may not always um, feel okay, but no, you've got to trust God. You've got to trust what he's saying to you so that you can receive what God said is saying to you. Um, it, it, you know, even the people, as, as my husband said, even the people that God is going to connect with you may not be the person that you probably would have imagined that he would, you know, would have the solution um, to what you're dealing with. But God is faithful. He's already positioned it. And it, hey, the pre-order has, has already been in, has already been sent in. And so it, it, it's an amazing, amazing time. And so begin to rejoice in what God has declared over your life today. Rejoice in what he's released unto you. Rejoice, hallelujah, in what you're about to receive. Rejoice in the divine connection that God is bringing forth suddenly, immediately, straightway, without notice. When you wake up, when you walk into the room, you're going you're gonna to see the connection. It's going to happen with you so fast. You're not going to even realize what happened. I remember when, when I was, uh, God had told me that I was going to get married, as, as I sh we shared with you several times before, and I just kept saying, God, I don't know, but then God, you know, started sending people to me, and they said, it's going to happen so fast, you're going to meet him, and it's going to happen so fast, you're not going to even realize what just happened, and let me tell you, God did just what he said, how he said he was going to do it. When we, we met one day, and two months later, we were married, we knew that there was a connection, and so God God, God accelerated, he connected it, and it was like a puzzle, and it fit together. And so you're not going to have to make it work. You're not going to have to be frustrated about it. No, when God does it, it works, and, it, and he, he causes it to work together. And so here we are today because of a sudden connection. Here we are today ministering to you here on this broadcast because God suddenly connected us. And when we knew that we were, of course, two individual people, but God was not just come bringing us together just for the sake of just marriage. No, it was so much more than that. It was way bigger than that. And so as we look through our life and look back over these past almost 10 years, we can see the hand of God. God, that we had to come together because certain things in our life could not even be activated until the other one got to, to where we needed to be. Wow. 
Listen, let me give you, so we talked about Naaman, that's good. Mm -hmm. We talked about Naaman, the Syrian, and how that one young lady was a divine connection for him that literally ushered him into his place of healing. Then we talked about Joseph and how one divine mm -hmm. connection, uh, it caused Joseph to be released from prison and then simultaneous, which brought to pass the dream and the vision that God had literally given him over, uh, what was it, over 17 years prior to that. And so Joseph was 13, the Bible said, when he was in his, when he was in his father's house. And so here it is 17 years later, and now he moves into a place of destiny because of one divine connection. Are you listening to me? And so you cannot, you cannot uh, be, you got to beware and have discernment to know. And listen, you can't even be found uh, spending your time and spending your wheels in, in situations, circumstances, and with people, places, and things that are not, that are not tied to you and tied to your purpose. Are you listening to me? And so let me give you another one. Then, uh, then we talked about how uh, we said the situation with Naaman, and then Joseph, let me give you the last one. Thank you for those that are sharing. It means so much that you share. Uh, I'm looking at Esther chapter 6 verses 1. Uh, again, Esther, the book of Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Uh, and it said, on that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of the records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the, king, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on King, Ar uh, 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 king Harasaroth. And the king said, What honor and dignity have been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was coming to the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Listen to me. I don't know who I'm talking to. This is, this is, I know, but I know this is a prophetic message for somebody because this was not in our notes. This was not something we talked about beforehand. Listen, there is somebody on here that the one kingdom connection you that you get ready to make is literally get ready to change the entire trajectory of everything that's been going on in your life. You are literally getting ready to shake hands with the person who wants to hear about your invention, the person who wants to hear about your good deeds. You get ready to shake hands with the person who is literally getting ready to give exposure uh, to your vision, to your dream, to your yes. ministry, to your church. Listen, you you know you've been you've been faithful, you've been committed, you've been doing the things that you need to do. You've not been promoted. It, you've not been telling anybody, but you're getting ready to walk into one person. Listen, you're getting ready to have that one person that's literally getting ready to see you and see your anointing and see who you are and see the vision that Jesus. you have and see the purpose that you have and see the destiny on you and see the oil that's on your life. Are you listening to me? Yes. Come on, David. It's time for you to meet My your God. Samuel. Samuel's getting ready to come in and literally change your life. Let me let me go to Samuel in just a minute. I'm going to go to that one in just a minute. But I'm looking at Esther 6 and 1. Listen, the king could not sleep and God is literally keeping somebody awake tonight with your name on their on their mind. God is literally causing somebody's sleep to be agitated. He's going to put you in their dream. He's going to put you in their vision. Jesus. He's going to put you in there. And when you come to see them, they're going to be like, my God, this is deja vu. I've seen this before. Yes. And they're like, no, this is not deja vu. This is the fulfillment <laughs> of the prophetic vision of God where yes. God literally prepositioned me in your thought. He prepositioned me in your dream. He prepositioned me in your in your mindset. Amen. He prepositioned uh, 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 for my name to be written in your book. So at the appointed time, he would cause you not to sleep and to know that there is a recognition that's due my name. There is something that's due me. There is something that's supposed to come to me. There is something that's, that's due my family. There is something Jesus. that's due my family line. There is something that's due my children. There is something that God is getting ready to call somebody to remember. Listen, you've been a blessing. You've got seed in the ground. You've sowed seeds. Come on, you sowed seeds at times when you didn't have money. You've given to people. You've blessed people. You've ushered people. You, you've been there for people. Listen, and some people didn't, didn't bless you back, but I'm telling you that God is literally causing kings, and he is causing governors, Jesus. and he is causing presidents, come on, to have your name written Jesus. in their books of chronicles, and literally, you're getting ready to see something you've never seen before. Jesus. You're getting ready to be ushered into a room where you're getting ready to be promoted. You're getting ready to be blessed. You're getting ready to be favored. The oil of the Lord is getting ready to be smeared upon you. It's causing favor to be your portion, yeah. even as it was with Esther, even as it was, or even as it was with Mordecai, even as it was in this situation. Oh my God, I'm telling you that God is getting ready to do something for you that literally you've been believing and trusting him for. I see somebody who has tears in their eyes. You've been crying. You've been wetting your bed at night saying, God, please remember me. I'm doing everything Jesus. I can to do what's right and to be right in this situation. Jesus. But Lord, I need you to open the door. I need you to send that one divine connection, one Cornelius relationship. Come on, one king who can't sleep at night. One employer who can't sleep at night. One person who owns 
the car dealership that can't sleep at night. Come on, one husband that can't sleep at night. One wife that can't sleep at night. One person that cannot sleep at night who owns the building that's getting ready to give you the key. You've been like, my God, God, I've been waiting. I've been believing you. I've been trusting you. I've been sowing. I've been believing by faith. And God said, because of your faithfulness, because of the way you honored me, I'm getting ready to suddenly cause one connection. I'm going to suddenly wake somebody up at night. I'm going to suddenly cause one person to be in the jail cell with you. I'm going to suddenly cause one girl to be taken hostage that literally was, the, the best, was brought as a slave into a new land. She didn't even understand why she was there. But if the only reason she was brought out of Israel and taken hostage was so that she could go and help Naaman get what he needed, get his deliverance and get his healing and get, get that infirmity removed from him. Listen, it would all be worth it. I'm telling you, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but one of you that's on here is getting ready to get the keys to the building. You're getting ready to get the keys to the car. You're getting ready to get the keys to the house. Come on, the door is getting ready to open for you. You're getting ready to go back to college. Come on, you're going you're gonna to get the scholarship. Come on, you're going to enter into the relationship. You're getting ready to do the business deal. Come on, you're getting ready to sign the contract. Come on, you're getting ready to start the LLC, the LLP. You're getting ready to move into your next place of destiny and your next place Jesus. of purpose. Come on, the partnership with the university, the partnership, come on, with the other business people, the partnership for the grant. The grant you needed to be able to fund your vision and fund the, the, the cause that you have. It's getting ready to be released to you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm telling you that we're declaring that your faith is arising for you. Apostle John Eckhart said something this morning. He said that faith is your servant. And so you've got to give it some instructions. And so I'm telling you to send your faith to the car dealership. Send your faith to the person who has the building for your nonprofit. Send your faith to the person who has the building for your church. Send your faith to the place, oh my God, that had, that had the, to the person who cannot sleep at night. I'm declaring that somebody will not sleep at night because your name is coming up in their sleep and they won't know your name. Come on, come on, Bill. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sarah. Oh, come on, Tanya. Come on, oh, come on, uh, Smith. Come on. I'm telling you, your are Jones. Jesus. Come on. Your name is being, has been written in a book. Come on. And as your name has been written in that book, come on, Valora. Come on, LaShawn. Come on. I just need to talk to some yes. people. Come on, yes. Pamela. Come on, Tamisha and Reginald and Tiffany and Raji. Come on, Latara. I'm telling you, Dorothy, that your name, Patricia, has been written. And because your name has been written, God is going to call somebody who cannot sleep tonight to see your name and say, I don't know why it is. This is not in my, in my plan. It wasn't in the thing that I planned to do, but I'm getting ready to give them the keys. I'm getting ready to give them the keys to the new building. I'm getting ready to give them the keys to the new car. You've been without transportation. You need transportation. God's got somebody who has multiple Jesus. sources of transportation that's literally getting ready to give you the key. Somebody that has money, you, you're getting ready to connect. So listen, somebody that has money, you own here, and you, you need to be able to give the money that you have to somebody that's a worthy and a just cause, and God's getting ready to connect you. There is somebody who says, I need money. God's getting ready to connect you with somebody who has the money that you need. I'm telling you that the divine connections, the divine relationships, the divine mergers, come on, the divine contracts are Jesus. literally getting ready to come into manifestation for you, and it's going to happen suddenly and supernaturally. I'm decreeing it and declaring it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, it is so. It is so. In the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you even now for your word that has already gone forth. We thank you that you're watching over your word to perform it. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have called them by name, even as you have called Kenya and Tara and Marina, God, even as you have called others, God, you are bringing your word to pass. In the name of Jesus, you have remembered them. And God, you have opened doors for them. You have already gone before them. You've made every crooked path straight. You've sent angels before them to prepare the way. We thank you even now. Glory to your name for divine assignments, divine connections. Glory to God. We thank you, God, that it is, it is so. It is done. It is finished. It is complete. And we say amen in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for your anointing, God, that removes burdens and destroys yokes. So we thank you, God, for your anointing that, that opens doors supernaturally, that makes ways supernaturally in the name of Jesus, not by power or might, but certainly by your spirit 
And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Listen, I want you to do two things before we get out of here. Again, we're talking out of the book, Sudden Breakthrough. I want you to do two things very quickly. Number one, I want you to, as Apostle John said, he talked about the challenge. So he said, what, what are you going to send your faith to do? So for everybody that's on here who has the courage to put on, on, on this scope, on this periscope, I want you, and on this Facebook Live, I just want you to write in the comments what yes. you're aiming your faith towards. What, what, it is, what is it that you're believing God to connect you with? Who is it that you believe? Do you need keys to a building? Do you need keys to a vehicle? Do you need keys to, to a contract? Do you, do you need somebody who writes grants? What do you need? Who do you need God to connect you with? And, and I want you to write that in the piece. I want you to, I want you to, so we can agree with you. So people that are on here can agree with you. So, so God, do we need, do we need keys to a building of our own for our church? Absolutely. Cont yes. Every contagious church, I'm dec decree and declare, every pastor on here, I'm decreeing and declaring yes. that you're going to get a new location, that keys are coming into your relationships. You may not even qualify, but relationships are coming into your, into you. You're, you're going to get that one member who has the ability to write one check that literally catapults you into your next season. Come on. And I'm declaring that people who are really committed to your success, who are assigned to your success, who are, who are not coming to leech off you and, 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 and literally uh, suck the strength out of you, but people who are committed to your strength. What is the person and the people that you need? Come on. I need you to write that in there. I need you to put your faith to work. Give your faith an assignment. Call, command your faith to speak for you in the earth. Who is the person that you need not to sleep tonight? Who is there? Is there a is there a, a, a land owner? I'm not talking about a landlord. I'm talking about a land owner. Somebody that owns the land that needs to give you the land. Come on, or put you in a position where you can own the land. Come on, who is the one? Do you do you need one finance ear? Come on, do you need one person who has the ability to write the check? Come on, there, what what multi billionaire do you need to meet? Not just a multi billionaire, but a multi billionaire. Who's the one multi trillionaire that needs to that God needs to put you on their mind tonight, even as they're sleeping and they see your name and they wake up the next morning and they Google your name. Who is the person that you Jesus. need God to put you in contact with? What's the one connection? Come on, I need you to put your faith in alignment with this. Come on, somebody said a record label ex executive, amen? Somebody said a landowner to start a business. Come on, who, what, what is it that you need? Keys to my new office, new home, new car, new business. Absolutely. Somebody else says, says money, but no, you don't just need money. You need God to open the door of favor with you for one person who can literally Jesus. give you the money or give you the idea that then causes somebody else to partner with you and fund you and give you the money that you need. You, Hey, listen, somebody needs a grant writer. Somebody who can write the grant because the government has money. They've never, there's no money that's left the earth. There is money, grant money that's available. You just need one grant writer to write that one grant that literally catapults you into your next location. Amen? Come on. Somebody needs a connection with, with, uh, uh, with, with, with the state and the county. Somebody else said they need a uh, favor. Uh, uh, yes, favor in this area and favor in that situation and mentorship. Oh, come on. Come on. I, I see it. I'm telling you that God is literally opening every door that you need for your life. And so I want you to go back and I want you. Somebody says, I need a grant writer. Come on. You All you need is one Cornelius connection, one relationship that literally opens up everything that you need. Somebody said they, they need keys to the church. Amen. It's coming. I promise you. Resources for your spa business. It's coming. Amen. Jesus. Every person that's on here that has the courage to write it down, I'm declaring that testimonies are come that God Jesus. is literally going to cause Jesus. you to meet one person who had, listen, they're going to find you. Come on. Somebody's going to see your situation. I'm praying even like the young Syrian girl. She saw the situation that Naaman the Syrian was in and connected him with one person who could make the difference. Come on. Even in the situation, the king couldn't sleep. And he said, what? Bring me the book of remembrance. Tell me, God, God, God wouldn't let me sleep tonight. And so God is literally putting your name on book somebody's publisher. mind. Come on. Yes, the book publisher. Amen. Yes, it's come. Grants for schools. Come on. I'm telling you, somebody says, I need a lawyer. I'm telling you, one kingdom lawyer is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody said finances for school and for a new job. Amen. Uh, somebody said, uh, 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 place God wants me to be a man. Hey Amen. It's going to happen. Yes. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Music promoter. Yes. yes. 
So that's our, pro our proclamation declaration today. We're putting our faith to work. Jesus. We're declaring that God's going to connect us with one person. Go back and read those scriptures. Go back and read uh, in Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Make sure you make that declaration. Read in 2 Kings chapter 5. Uh, and then also go back over and read in Genesis chapter 41. Go back and read those scriptures. Go back and read those scriptures. I'm telling you. Listen. And then let me tell you something else. God's getting ready to bring you a Samuel, David. You've been out, in the, out with the sheep in the field and you've been tending to the sheep and you've been minding your business and you've been doing what God says do. But I'm telling you, there's a man named Samuel who's coming to promote you today because the oil that's on your life is getting ready to be attracted and it, they won't even sit down. They won't even rest till you get there. Some of you, God's getting ready to cause kings and governors and politicians and senators and people from the House of Representatives and people with the, with, uh, that, that are music directors. They're going to hear your song and they're going to Listen, there are book publishers that are getting ready to call your number. Come on. They've seen your, your they've seen your faithfulness. They've seen you. And they've seen who you are. And they've seen your heart. Let me tell you something. And they've seen that you're not prideful. You're not arrogant. You really love God. You really want to walk in, in your purpose and in your destiny. Some of you, listen, all you need is the business plan. You're going to have a business plan writer, the grant writer. Come on. You're going to have somebody who has the money that's going to connect with you. And some others of you said, listen, I got money, but I need to connect with somebody. And I'm telling you God is getting ready to send you people that you can really trust that are assigned yes. to your money. Come on, I'm talking to somebody on here today. Jesus. Somebody is assigned, has an assignment to bring you the wealth and the connections that you need. I'm telling you, whatever you need, I'm decreeing and declaring that God is going to send it to you. That's the prophetic word. Come on, just begin to pray. Begin to decree, yes. declare, write it down, and then put your name in there. Listen, put your name in there. If you, you believe in God, that God's going to put your name on somebody is mine tonight. Just put your name in there. Just write your name into the block and just begin to decree and declare and launch your faith into a place where you're dec decreeing and declaring that God, you're going to do exactly what I'm believing you to do, what I'm trusting you to do, what, what, what I know you have the capacity, yes. God, to do. Yes. I break the power of fear that's been on you, that's made you believe that what God was getting ready to do for you is not going to happen. I break the power of fear and I, I promote the spirit of, of faith in you. I command your Jesus. faith to arise. I command your faith to arise. I command your faith to arise. Jesus. And I command you to send your faith as a servant, as apostle said. Release your faith to go forth and do all that you've been called to do. I'm telling you, I break the Jesus. powers of hell that have come against you and tried to stop you. And I declare that now is your sudden season, your season of sudden breakthrough. Yes. It's suddenly getting ready to happen for you. I'm telling you, tomorrow morning you're going to get a phone call. Somebody wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. They're not going to be able to sleep. They're going to text you. They're going to call you. They're going to find you. Somebody even lost your number. And they said, my God, I got a new phone. I didn't even have your new number. But they're going to find you. Even if they got to find you through social media, the letter's going to come to your house. I'm telling you, I'm speaking by faith and I'm Jesus. decreeing and declaring. I'm sending my faith out to you on today that somebody is getting ready to bless you in a way that you've been believing God for and trusting God for even for many seasons now. But this is getting ready to be your sudden, your season of sudden breakthrough. You've been a leper for years, but you're getting ready to be clean. You've been in prison for years, but you're getting ready to be released. Come on. You you listen. The enemy framed evil against you, but God is getting ready to promote you. Come on. I'm coming to talk. Your brothers forgot about you, David, but God is getting ready to remember you and suddenly connect you with a Samuel who literally has the ability to catapult you from being a, 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 a man that's out there with the sheep to now being the king. You're getting ready to get promoted. you got to receive that. Get that in your spirit. Put your name in there. Put Put your name in there. I'm telling you by faith, you got to put your name in there and decree it and declare it that God is getting ready to do what you've been asking and believing and trusting him to do in Jesus name. In Jesus Amen. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. I'm putting my name in. I'm, I'm writing my name in. I'm going to put my name in there because I'm believing yes. that God is going to do what I'm asking him to do. Amen. Lejean and Valora Cole, yes. I'm putting it in there because I'm believing God. 
I'm putting my yes. name in because there's some things I'm putting God for. Hey, I'm believing God for. Some things I'm trusting God for. Some things I'm, I need him to do for me so that I can be a bless, a better blessing to you, to those that God has assigned us to. Lord, Lord, don't just do it for me. Listen, do it for, for other people that we're connected to, that are committed, that, that we're committed to their success. There are some doors that I want to open for some sons and daughters. There are some doors that I want to open for some friends of ours. There are some, listen, I don't want to just be the person who gets a connection. I I want to be somebody's connection. Yes. God, give me the kind of influence and the kind of resources. Come on, that's what some of you need to pray too. Listen, you, 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 you know, God, God's going to do it, but God, do it not just for me so that I can get my building, but God, put me in position and in relationship with people who can literally help me and catapult me into my next level. People that can literally catapult me into my next season so that I can be a greater blessing and that I can add greater value to the people that I'm called to serve. Yes. It's not just about us, people of God. Get, we are our heart condition has got to be correct even in our asking. God, give it to me so that I can be a better blessing and a better a, a better honor to other people. Listen, I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is putting your name on somebody's on your name in somebody's mind and they're going to wake up tomorrow morning and they're going to start looking for you and they're going to find you. And when they find you, they're going to bless you. I'm telling you, you're going to give me the testimony. Go to my page when you get it and you're going to go to our page, Lejean of our website, LajonaValore.com, and there's a page where you can download uh, this new book, Sudden Breakthrough, uh, and again, we're on, on, on day 12, but you can download the free chapter of the book, and at the bottom of that piece, yes. you, there's a place where you can give your testimony. I want the testimony of the man or woman of God who yes. had the courage to believe God and trust God and send their faith as a servant on an assignment un illegally to return void until it's accomplished <laughs> what they've sent it out to do, yes. and so I want the I want your testimony. I want you to write your suddenly testimony. How God suddenly placed somebody on you on somebody's mind. They couldn't sleep last night. They connected somebody with you. They sent somebody to you. They sent somebody to help you. They sent somebody to bless you. They sent somebody to connect with you because all you need is one divine, uh, one divine uh, connection that's going to literally change your life. Are you listening to yes. me? There was there's a, a young girl uh, that that's a part of our ministry. And uh, she's a daughter now. She started out, listen, she was at another church. And when she went to the church, she went to their new members orientation. She didn't even know anything about our church. She went to their new members orientation. And when she went to the new members orientation, she got to the end of it. And they asked her, do you feel like this is the church she, you're supposed to be assigned to? And she says, no, I really don't feel it. And they said, listen, I want you to try a church that's right down the street. It's a, there's a pastor, two pastors, Pastors Cole. Uh, and at the time, it was Perfected Love. Uh, Lashon of Alora Cole uh, is the, you know, uh, 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 the pastors. And I, I think you should go and check out their church. The little girl started coming to the church. She was 18. She had just started college and she had just started coming to the church. And what I found out about her was she would tithe. And that's how I found out who she was. She was tithe. God is getting ready to send you faithful people, people who are committed, people who just serve quietly and help promote what God has given you to do and who will partner with it. And so she started coming. And the reason I knew who she was was because I would see her tithe envelope and she never missed a tithe. And the reason I know she never missed a tithe because she would tithe 10 cents and it would be a an envelope with 20 cent on it or a dollar or two dollars or three dollars and I'm like my god who is this person that's tied them two dollars and three dollars and five dollars and so as a result she ended up uh, I, I was out in the vestibule one day and she was waiting on an uber came to find out she didn't have any other family in this city and she had literally come here for college on an engineer for an engineering degree and she was sitting out I said who is Simone Campbell and so she was like she looked around she was like how did you know my name I said I've been looking for you because because you you are you are faithful even in just in just a little bit. It wasn't yes. the fact that she was a time. It was the fact that she was faithful in a little bit. And so as a result, now she she's literally become a daughter to us. She 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 was here, she was here this weekend hanging out. She she goes places with us, she travels with us, and she has literally been a blessing to us both personally and in ministry just because of the gift that she is. Are you listening to me? Right. I'm looking telling for you. Your gift. Somebody's looking for your somebody's gift. Somebody's looking for your wisdom, somebody's looking for your creativity, somebody's looking for what you have and they need. You need what they have and they, they need what you have. That's right. And listen, yes. she unlocked something. We got ready to do our prayer oils. When we got ready to start doing our prayer oils, our oil of favor, 
our, uh, I think the first one was the oil of consecration. When we started doing these prayer oils, she's a chemical engineer at the University of South Florida. And so she, my wife talked to her, and so she developed the oil of consecration. Listen, one divine connection yes. can literally usher yes. you into your next situation, yes. your next circumstance. So we had oil of consecration. So then we go to oil of consecration. Then we developed the, the king's anointing oil for those in the marketplace. Come on. Then we had the, uh, the oil of healing. Come on. And then we had the oil. Where's the other one? At? The oil of, oil of breakthrough. Come on. And so then in each one of these has a different oil in it and then oil of favor and so one person says well can you just create the oil and just put oils in it she said no I asked her that one day she said no you have to you have to literally chemically engineer it so that it doesn't burn anybody so that it doesn't have allergic reactions on people you have to find the right oils you have to put the right amount in there you have to have the right recipe or the right formula and I'm like my god and so so God is going to bring you people who have the skill and the ability yes. to help further what you've been called to do in a way that you couldn't do it yes. had they not connected with you. Yes. I don't know what I'm talking to today. Yes. Listen, yes. The, 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 the whole, even this, this first book, we had somebody that was connected that, that literally helped to, to birth those things. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just need one connection one. that opens the door. Yes. For Joseph, it was a butler. Yes. Come on. Come on. For Mordecai, it was, it was, it was, the, it was the king. Come on. Who, who's the person that you need in your life to open the door for you? For David, it was a Samuel. Everybody else had forgotten about him. But Samuel didn't forget about him. God wouldn't let him forget. Jesus. I'm telling you, I can't get this off my mind that God is literally getting ready to cause but one of you to meet one. one person. Just one. Just one kingdom one. connection is getting ready to usher you into your next place of destiny. Listen, for those of you who are anywhere close to Little Rock, know anybody in Little Rock, meet us in Little Rock, Arkansas. October the 18th to the 20th. If you're in, in around Tampa, Florida, meet us this Saturday. Uh, my wife is doing her Fearless Women's uh, Global Gathering. Meet us in Arkansas the 18th, 19th, and 20th. And for those of you who are interested in our Spiritual Warfare Academy online webinar the 26th and 27th, if you've, tried, if you've been trying to figure out why the enemy attacks you, if you've been trying to figure out why it seems like Every time you get ahead, the enemy attack. The, the enemy has been ambushing you, and he had a plot. The enemy, can you, you find out why every time you get to a certain place, it's like everything blows up? Because he's got what's called point minefields. When I was in the military, a lot of this is because I was a demolitions expert in the military, and he's put point minefields at strategic places in your life that would literally blow up in, on your life when, when, when things are going well for you. And then in other times, you're like, something just hit me out of nowhere. You've been ambushed. That's what the enemy did. And so I want to teach you these practical spiritual warfare patterns and principles from my military training that will literally help you to literally sustain momentum so you can see choke points in your life. You can listen, I was taught as a as a combat engineer, I was a reconnaissance uh, engineer, and a part of my assignment was to see where the enemy would place obstacles so that then we could be prepared to, to be able to attack those obstacles and have scouts who are already in place to see them when the enemy is trying to put them in. Are you listening to me? It's too late for the intercessors and for the prophets to see the enemy once the enemy has already attacked you. It's too late then. No, we need prophets who can literally see around corners and be like the prophet Elijah was, who could see what the, the king was framing in his bedchamber. Are you listening to me? You need the kind of discernment and the kind of wisdom in this season so that you can see where that one connection is yes. and God can send you to it. I remember one day we needed a new car and um, we needed this car. We didn't, we didn't have a car at the time. Both our cars had just some crazy stuff had happened. And, and I talked to my wife. I said, I said, baby, where do I've been everywhere I could go? Tell me what the Lord is saying as far as where we need to go to get this car. And you remember that first, the Toyota Camry? And you said, I, I heard the Lord say, go down this street at this place. And when you go there, I'm telling you. And I'm telling yes. you, I went there and I got just what God was looking for. Yes. And so I'm going to talk about how the prophetic gift and how spiritual warfare and how deliverance and how these principles come together so that you can have good success in your life. Amen. I believe everybody wants it. Again, go to our website. Check out our website. Uh, if you've not liked our page, if this is your first time, we'd love for you to like us. And uh, I know that we get a little passionate and a little bit loud, but I like that because <laughs> I believe, listen, man, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm ex-military and I just believe in just being uh, being strong and powerful and anointed. And uh, But again, we love you guys. Um, somebody said, if I was in Florida, I would join your church. Amen. <laughs> Bless you, Latanya, uh, Tendo. We, we love you. Amen. Yes. And we would love to have you with us. And um, we just, we appreciate you. We really appreciate yes. you. Go back and look at yesterday's message at Contagious Church Tampa. 
I'm telling you, this girl preached the, the uh, fire down from heaven. Amazing message. I really was blessed by it. Look at our message from the day by Meredith Worker, uh, who's a daughter that's Thanks. really been uh, Contagious Church Facebook page. Uh, tremendous. Last week we did the broadcast, but this week our sons and daughters are doing it. And I think that there's no other greater uh, attribute of a leader than for your sons and daughters to be able to do what you do. Amen? Amen. So we love you. Tamisha, we love you too. Listen, uh, Suddenly is coming to Dallas. I don't care what the devil said. Suddenly is coming to Dallas. It's yes. going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Amen. And we're coming to Houston for another meeting with yes. um, with Marina. It's coming uh, this November. Amen. Yes. And so we are excited. Listen, get ready for your one connection. One connection is getting ready to make the difference in your life. We love you. We bless you. Anything else before we get out of here? No, that's it. But just, just stay, stay focused, stay in the place that God has ordained you, and uh, allow God to order your steps to receive all that He has for you. Amen. Yes. One connection One. is getting ready to literally loose you, let you go, set you free, um, usher you into your next place of destiny and purpose. One connection. One. Let me, let, let me give you a last one. Let me give you the last one since He's here and He's. Get, he wants to be seen. <laughs> this little fella, one day I went to one member's house and I just went to go check on one of our members at, at his house one day. And uh, when I went to go check on his house, check on him, Agape was a puppy. Now, this was like seven years ago. He was a puppy. He was a little bitty baby. And he was running around the house. And when he saw us, he came and jumped in my lap. Yeah, and then that. the next day, I took my wife back because I wanted her to see him. And so, although their kids loved him, they said, um, we're going to give him to you. <laughs> and we took him home that day. And ever since then, he's been with us. <laughs> and I remember the first day we got him, for those of you that don't know Agape, the first day we got him, he, uh, he chewed a pair of my shoes up. And I liked them shoes, but I didn't really need them no way. So he was teething and he chewed him up and my wife was sitting on the couch with him and she said, I'm getting ready to, uh, to call the, the people so they can come get him. And I said, you know what? I came in the room and I, I, just, I was like, nope, you can't get rid of him. We got to stick with him. I love this little guy. And ever since then, he's been with us. Ever since then, he's stuck. So one connection gave us agape. I'm telling you, this, this theme of one connection, one divine one connection. connection, one divine alignment can literally, literally transition and transform yes. your life. Amen? Yes. Amen. I believe in God for mine. That's it. For ours. Yep. Yes. That's it. Yes. That's some things we're believing Jesus. God for. Some things we're yes. trusting Him for. Some things we're believing Him for for our families and for you guys. Uh, somebody asked, who spoils Him more? He does. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who he spoils does. Him more. <laughs> God, who spoils Him more? The one who's picked Him up. He was been jumping on me. I ain't like, mm -mm. no, Him. Him. <laughs> That's my man. Oh, yep, that's gosh. my man. Okay, love you guys. We're getting out of here. We'll talk to you soon. Make sure you register for uh, for this Saturday for the Fearless Women Globals meeting. Make sure you register for Arkansas. If you know people in Arkansas, call them, tag them, let them know about the meeting. Uh, and then if you know people who are in, uh, what was the other one I was getting ready to say? If you know people who need to be taught about spiritual warfare, uh, make sure you connect. People are registering for it. And um, I'm really believing it's going to be a tremendous time uh, of, of training. And uh, yep. <laughs> yep. That's it. We love you. We're getting out of here. Love Say bye-bye. Say bye. <laughs> Love you guys.